Well, they came, we laughed, we ate, we talked, Let's and now it. we bid adieu. Okay. Uh, Mary and Adam are ta uh, taking off. Thank you for coming Thank by. You the so house. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Sharing with us your it. plans and uh, getting right. started with everything. All right. Okay. Don't All right. Do you, did you get checks. some pasta to go? Do you uh, need? No, but I'm going to get some. <laughs> you yeah, get some we, we, you go. We saw it. Got the <laughs> We're going to go okay. follow. That's why they're going that way, by the way. Yes, yes. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you, guys. Always good to see you. Bye. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. All right. So look, we are uh, we're here with Tanya, and we're gonna we're gonna repurpose, not repurpose. We're gonna refresh. Refresh. I guess this Update. chairs. Update, we if do. you will, an easy solution. This is a 15-minute DIY chair makeover that we're talking yeah. about here. Upholstery is something that people kind of go, oh, I got a guy can't even do that. They do, but yeah. really it's so simple. Or I'm yeah. afraid of it. I don't know how to do it, and I think it's hard. It's it's really not. Um, and the, I mean, you just need some simple tools to right. start, right? Can we show just to, to start? This is what you did earlier yes. today. Yes. When wow. you came in, we have Check the chairs. That's the finished product. And you did this in 15. I watched you do this. It didn't take me long at all. I mean, yeah. once you have everything prepared, it, it, it goes it's by very not, quickly. So we're going to show you how to do that. Yeah. Uh, let's roll the tape early. earlier because the first step you have to do is take off the cushion. So here we are. This is me early in the morning <laughs> taking off the cushion. Now, just know that you might need different tools depending on what kind of a chair that you're removing the cushion from. There's different sizes, different shapes, different tools might be needed. So just sort of be prepared for that. And they do come off fairly easy generally. And there you go. You can just literally upholster your new fabric right Right over on the other. You don't right have to pry all the staples out or anything. I mean, oh, you nice. can be if you want it to be absolutely. But sure. You don't, you don't need, you don't need to. to. No. It's so easy. This so, is a quick update, too. Okay. Yes. How, uh, where do we go from here? Okay, well, simple tools. You need, I mean, you can either use a hand um, staple gun or you can get one of the pressured staple, staple guns. That would be that me. Just, yeah, me yes, too. I yeah. love those. Yeah. We didn't have one ready for today. But if you have one, they work awesome. But these awesome. work just as well. Yeah. Fabric, choose whatever kind of fabric you love. Um, I wanted to focus on just not every chair has to be the exact same type of fabric mm -hmm. or, or design, but keep it in the same family so you can kind of give that like that shabby chic sort of look. Sure. Make it a little more interesting and uh -huh. fun. Your drill, you need, um, we're going to talk about that a little bit later, but, you know, have ample staples ready, scissors, and you can mm -hmm. also do it by hand, too, with just a regular screwdriver. Okay. What is so, right. heat bond for? Well, this is for, we're going to talk about this. I made this this fabulous piece okay. here that we're going to talk right. about a little later because I wanted to, I really want to focus on. Just the, a question. When you do pick stripes, yeah. how do you know which way they go? Well, it's really up to you. So you can take your cushion. This one if I started on. Sideways, already. your chair will look fat. It does. It's not <laughs> very attractive. <laughs> well, that translates onto your bottom. Yes, and then it you does. It makes your bottom look, look big. So you can go the... this way. Yeah. <laughs> or oh, yeah. that way. Right. Okay. right. But no matter which way you choose, I prefer the long way. The long way. right there. It just gives it a slimmer, slimmer look. Line. Slimmer right. line. <laughs> That's important. Okay. Just okay. make sure the lines are straight. That's yeah. the main thing. Yeah, right? you don't want them on there crooked. No. Okay. And also choose a fabric that's thicker. This is sort of a thicker cotton. The thin cotton will not work. It'll rip. It'll be a huge disaster. Okay. So, some tips when you're upholstering. Literally, like we did here, we just lay it out. Mm -hmm. Always cut your piece about 10 inches larger than the size of your cushion because you want to okay. have you want to have ample. May I just ask a question yes. about the fabric thing? Is it important to use cotton rather than a blend or a polyester? Would you recommend cotton for these? You just want something that's got durability. And for cleaning purposes too, no? It all depends on what the chairs are being used okay. for. Okay, all right. If you're going to put plastic over right. them or not, right? Oh, right. So, you know, oh, yeah. one of those people. Oh, one of those, you, just, you don't know. Right. There's anything wrong with that. <laughs> you, could, okay. you, could, you could do wool if you want to just don't go in the yeah. front room like my parents' house. There's the room where we look at the furniture. Right, you don't exactly. It right? depends Everybody on what look you want. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this one I chose a paisley. Obviously we have the plain one, the striped one, and then I wanted to go with a bit of a paisley. Make sure that your paisley is on there in, in mm -hmm. a nice, you know, so you don't want it all crooked and oh, crazy yeah. too. So you got to be careful with some of the patterns. Now, some tips. Okay. First of all, this really is a two-man job. Okay. So you want to, one person has to sort of hold it tight. Okay. And the other person, Mark, you can do what? the stapling. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now, we started it earlier just for time. And okay. then we're going to flip this. Save the corners for last. So you want to put enough staples. I'm always afraid of the corners. I did my, I toughed it actually uh, over the break, a, a bed for my if kids. If you toughed it, then corners are simple. Tough oh, it was tough. tough. It was so tough It was to tough. It was a tough, tough job. It was a tough job. 
Now, why do you save the corners for last? Because they are the most difficult, and also you won't really know how to like how to configure to it, it. Okay. Until, until it's until you all get to taut. The end. Yeah. Okay. Right to the end. Now, put your staples maybe an inch apart. You can even you can make them even you know closer together if you want. It all depends on how the fabric is laying. But always pull tight. Not too tight where it kind of changes the uh -huh. pattern of the fabric. You don't want it to yeah, pull too much. I had the grip on the death grip. I was pulling when I was trying mine. And <laughs> right. I just, it was too much. And then with the too corners, much. I just take the corner like this, pull up, and then tuck in the sides as much as you can. Try to make it simple. I always knew I was pulling it too tight when I would ask, because I was doing and this with my go. son, and I was like, oh, can you stay I knew I was pulling. I was, was making that noise, I was yeah. pulling too tight. Too tight. And yeah. then you're bending the corners, yeah. and sometimes yeah, you can kind of ruin doesn't. the organic shape yeah. of the cushion if you pull too tight. Now, do, do you cut this off, or do you? Yeah, that's okay. going to be our last okay. little. Right. Actually, I'll have you do that. You can oh, yeah, I get you to do So something. pull up okay. on the corner. Okay. Yank Bam. back and fold over the sides. Look at that. Okay. Huh. I've done this a few this, times, this just, right? I, and look, I love the idea of doing this because you can, you know, instead of going out, like if you're, if you're going to spend you go. money, spend it up money on something that really is going to be a centerpiece in your house and then go cheap on the, the like chairs. Go cheap on the chairs new, and redo them. Yeah, yeah it's a great new, way to uh, update look. your whole new room. Course, it looks fabulous. Before yeah. we finish, do, do, do we cut all this off yes. here? Yes. So okay. the next step yeah. is cut it pretty okay. close because you don't close want this to showing the, okay. underneath and hanging down. All right. right. Thank you for the so, guidance. Okay. Well, okay. Christina's doing that. Okay. I right. wanted to talk to you about this gorgeous runner. runner. Oh, yeah. Runner. We've got a runner. We've got a runner. Do, 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 do. do I do? Da, 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 da. Hey. Oh, oh, well, you know. oh, sorry. I was going to get carried away the there. Again? I do. I hear doing? music and I just, it just okay. changes my personality. That is, by the way, your, okay. your first clue word. Runner is your clue word. Uh, first of two. Did As you need to register. Runner. Yes. Okay, so what, how do we make this table okay. runner? All right. Um, how do we make a table runner? So this is the coolest thing ever. I love this. This was actually a, a drapery panel that I had thrown away, re-salvaged it, and I wanted to make a runner in one of the fabrics of my chairs, because I'm going to have all different kind of, you know, patterns of my chairs, except... Um, I don't sew. Yes. I that, don't. This is the thing. It's you don't have to sew. So... But I this, see sewing. You see sewing here because what I did is I salvaged the one side of the curtain already uh. because it's already tailored and sewed. So I took this edge, this edge, and left it. This edge, which is really awesome, this is a no sew edge. Now, if you feel, feel how tight that is. Very. Okay. Yes. What this is, I love this product. It's hem tape. Yes. And basically, when you when you iron this hem tape, it melts and it adheres the two pieces of fabric together, becomes like a glue, dries very quickly, and it's permanent. So you can wash, re-iron, wash, re-iron, and it lasts a long time. And this is, this is the product here. You can get it at any craft store, um, as, as, uh, as Fabio called it, a do-it store. A do-it do store. store. <laughs> anything like that, yes. Look, this <laughs> is a just, great idea oh, for this. Yeah, Some it's very idea. easy. Very, we very have instructions easy. if you if you just enjoyed watching oh. that and wanted to, to visit and get more details on our website, hallmarkchannel.com forward slash home and family. Yeah, look. And I knew Christina was going to do this. She was going to start dressing oh, things yes. up. Oh, yes. Oh, my so gosh. Good this is so exciting. Uh, coming up, Busy Gold is here. It She's is talking fun. about her journey with lupus and how her holistic diet has literally saved her life. Thank you so much, Ted. Oh, you're welcome.